Hello, welcome back to Proactive New York. I'm Christine Corrado. With me in studio today is Joseph Payne. He's the CEO of Arcturus Therapeutics. Joseph, it's great to meet you. Hey, Christine, it's good to be with you. Joseph, the company has a robust preclinical drug development pipeline comprised of RNA therapeutics. For investors who aren't super familiar with that term, what is RNA therapeutics? What does that mean? Oh, RNA medicines or RNA, RNA medicines. therapeutics? Well, uh, uh, RNA medicines are special in that, especially messenger RNA therapeutics, in that they can build and create life. Uh, the entire pharmaceutical industry is impressive. There's small molecules, there's biologics, there's uh, siRNA, antisense oligotherapeutics, there's gene editing. But what they all do is they knock down, inhibit, uh, delete genes, mm -hmm. and, and have negative feedback mechanisms for these biochemical pathways. And messenger RNA therapeutics are different. How so? When a messenger RNA molecule gets into a cell, it literally builds and creates life in a living being. Mm -hmm. And this is completely different from all other approaches. Uh, if you think back to high school biology, yeah. everyone knows what DNA is. Right. And DNA, you get it from your mom and your dad, mm -hmm. and it never changes. It's always there, but it doesn't do anything. It's a blueprint. Mm -hmm. DNA gets converted to RNA, and then RNA builds and creates life. The hormones, the enzymes, the everything in you. Your whole body was made and built by messenger RNA. Mm -hmm. So if you're missing something in your DNA, you're missing the RNA. Right. And therefore, you're missing the protein and you have a, a disease. Mm -hmm. And the pharmaceutical industry is over here. Yeah. They're treating the inflammation, the pain, the cholesterol, the fibrotic disease. But the issue is over here. If you're missing something, why not just replace it? Mm. Why not just deliver a messenger RNA therapeutic that yeah. builds and creates life? If you can do that, it would be transformational. All those drugs over here would be immaterial and unnecessary. Mm. And well, so, let's, let's get into how you are sure. hoping to address that. I know you have four therapies in the preclinical pipeline. Your two lead therapies are lunar OTC and lunar CF. Let's first talk about lunar OTC because this is a very uh, complicated name that I won't try and pronounce. Sure. So uh, OTC deficiency, ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency. It's a rare liver disease. These patients are missing, in this case, uh, an enzyme called ornithine transcarbamylase. If you do not have this enzyme, you cannot process food normally. Mm. And so ammonia levels rise in your blood. And ammonia is Windex. And yeah. when ammonia crosses the blood-brain barrier, it destroys brain tissue. So it's a very serious, very painful, very uh, challenging disease. Uh, and right now, the present standard of care is to take drugs to deal with that issue, the ammonia, and try to lower the ammonia. But rather than dealing with the downstream of impact of the disease, why not simply replace what's missing? Mm -hmm. These patients are missing the ornithine transcarbamylase enzyme. Yeah. And by giving them a messenger RNA molecule, it would build and create a healthy normal one like you and I, mm. and it would be transformational for these patients. Well, what's the timeline to get into the clinic with this one? It's just around the corner in a few months in Q1 of, of, uh, of 2020. Great. Now now tell me a bit about lunar CF, yeah. which is obviously it's treating cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis. fibrosis. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the CF program is very exciting. Uh, we've collected some preclinical data that uh, uh, helped us strengthen our commitment from the CF Foundation. They've increased their commitment to $15 million recently to help us fund and translate this program into the clinic, into human patients in 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, we're really excited about it. That's th that therapeutic is inhaled instead of injected for okay. the liver. So we inhaled the drug and build this time, what, what is missing in, in, in cystic fibrosis is, is a transporter in the lung called CFTR. Mm -hmm. So when you're missing this transporter, you have a salt imbalance and phlegm comes in and the phlegm turns into some damage and inflammation and scarring and fibrotic disease and pretty soon you can no longer breathe properly and it's very serious. But the pharmaceutical industry again is dealing with the downstream impact of the disease why not simply just go into these patients and build a healthy, normal CFTR transporter? Mm. If you can do that, all of these drugs go away. Mm -hmm. Type 1 CF, there's 7,000 of these patients. These patients are, unfortunately, there's no, there's no treatment for them. Yeah. Um, they're completely missing. They're null. 
for the transporter. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so there's nothing for these patients. And we're hoping that our therapeutic can make a significant impact in their lives by building, again, a healthy, normal CFTR, what they're missing. Well, you mentioned the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation did up their commitment to actually kind of making this happen. Yeah. This was announced in your Q2 earnings report. So, I mean, it seems like you have had a very productive quarter. Yes, that, it's been a great quarter. Uh, Ultragenics provided a nice infusion of capital of $30 million. Uh, we received $4 million from our, another partner, CureVac. Our, our vaccine business development franchise uh, provided $3 million. Uh, we increased our commitment with the CF Foundation by 15. We raised 13 million from uh, reputable and impressive institutional investors. It's been a, a great quarter. Uh, so, so it allows us, it extends our runway so that we can get these programs into the clinic and, and hopefully uh, be successful and, 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 and really start to see this vision of messenger RNA therapeutics work in human beings and transform the pharmaceutical industry. So now you're really at a point where it's kind of all systems go. Yeah, yeah, we, we now have the cash and we have the, the right people and the motivation and the science and the technology to get it done. So we're excited. You've got a great story, Joseph. I'm really looking forward to following the company further. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, it's, it, it, I appreciate the time.